Jerry Ratai was born July 23, 1944, to Fred and Austi Ratai in Napoleon, North Dakota. Growing up in a poor family, barely making ends meet, Jerry left home on his own to help support his family at the age of 13. He worked for a local farmer where he drove his first combine. Growing up, Jerry worked several jobs around Napoleon. He was a school bus driver for the Napoleon School District before accepting a job as fuel truck driver for Farmers Union Oil Company in Napoleon. Despite not attending college, Jerry was incredibly business savvy. At the age of 22, Jerry started his own custom harvesting business. His first combine was a Case 1060 with a 14-foot header and no cab. As a young boy, he'd been inspired by a custom harvester from Kansas who used to combine their fields. Since he was five years old, he knew custom harvesting was what he wanted to do. For his inaugural run south, Jerry traveled as far as the Oklahoma-Kansas state line. He cut his way back north, working in Kansas, Nebraska, and South Dakota. That first year of custom harvesting was a success. With the money he earned, he leased some land and started farming around Napoleon. As the years went by, Jerry earned more and more business. Farmers were impressed with his work, and over time he expanded his fleet from one combine to five combines and started traveling even further south, cutting as far south as Abilene, Texas, as far west as Colorado Springs, and even going into parts of southern Canada. Eventually, the ag scene started to evolve in North Dakota. Farmers back home were starting to plant more varieties of crops such as sunflowers, soybeans, and corn. And the variety provided more work for Jerry and his crew in North Dakota. In addition to Jerry's clientele starting to reach retirement age, he had made the decision to do more custom harvesting around North Dakota rather easy. As his children started to get older, they started to help with the harvest. His oldest child, Todd, would help plant crops in early spring and oversee the spring during the summer. Todd also helped drive the combines, unload trucks, and move equipment from field to field. When his youngest daughter, Rebecca, was old enough to drive, Jerry taught her how to run the grain cart at age 12. His wife, Mary, managed the farm while he was gone. She did everything from mow, rake, and bale the ditches, to fix fence, feed the cattle, manage the bookkeeping, help transport equipment from field to field, and prepare meals for the crew. Despite changes in technology, Jerry involved with the times. Although he doesn't own a smartphone, Jerry knows his John Deere S-Series combine inside and out. He's not afraid to hop out of his air-conditioned cab to work on the header or get underneath his machine to tinker. Despite the fact that he keeps busy before the sun's up and works late into the evening, Jerry is also one of the first people in the community to help a farmer when they are down. In the summer of 2016, Jerry was one of the first people to show up to the farm yard of a farmer who received some nasty damage from a strong summer storm. He hopped into his loader tractor and started helping clear the damage. When Napoleon wanted to tear down an old condemned building and build a new restaurant in its place, Jerry used his own equipment and tore down the building for free, saving the community thousands of dollars. Despite being gone for much of the summer, he still found time to serve on the Glendale Township Board for many years. He also served on his parish church board and was heavily active with the local farmers union group in the podium. Jerry could oftentimes be heard on national radio stations. He never called in those agricultural shows. Instead, they called him for his insight and agricultural updates in North Dakota. Lately, Jerry's been contemplating retirement. He's been telling family, friends, clientele, and his crew that this is one of my last years. But he's been saying that for the last 10 years. He truly loves harvesting and has often said that he's never worked a day in his life because if you love what you do, it's not truly work. Next year, Jerry will be turning 75 and is already planning the spring crops for 2019. It's a pleasure to have Jerry Ratai as a 2019 inductee into the U.S. Custom Harvesters Hall of Fame.